Uh, I want to jump this. Okay, let's go to pillar number two, pillar block number two. We are still on pillar number one. Don't get it confused, but now we are talking about the second block. Remember what I told you? I love repeating myself because that is when you finally will get it. We are building a house. That house needs seven pillars. Each of those pillars needs a foundation and then the blocks that will go into it. We are doing pillar number one right now, which is strategic, uh, uh, having a strategic mindset. We have talked about the foundation for that, which is the uh, a strategy of preeminence. Now we are putting the blocks together of the to, to create that pillar number one. So we are now on block number two. Block number two is maximizing the power of leverage by developing most of your products around one niche. Our goal, I will keep reminding you, ladies and gentlemen, why you are an elite is you want to grow a six-figure a year business. Six figures means $10,000 a month. To do that, you need seven pillars. Pillar number one, strategic mindset. That pillar number one has five blocks after the foundation. The first block is this one we did before. Okay, I'm going to go over it. I'm going to go back so that you can write it down in case you don't have it. Because my, my two-hour talk might have derailed you from understanding what exactly are we even talking about. Here is your block number one, the strategic netpreneur mindset. Now we go to block number two of that pillar number one. Okay. Maximizing the power of leverage by developing most of your products around one niche. What does that mean? People who don't have the strategic mindset in their business, what they do is they create products in several niches, just like many of you are doing. Okay. This second block, again, is about using the power of leverage by developing most of your products around one niche. So once you pick a niche, which you are going to be doing or refining next week, all of you probably have a niche right now, but you are going to be double checking it next week. Some of you will end up keeping the niche you have. Some of you may need to change your niche by the time you do the pillar next week. Do not hesitate if that is what it's going to take. So today we're just assuming you are, we're going with the niche you have. But when we do that exercise next week, do not be boneheaded. Uh oh, I need to. Something's on fire. Give me a second, guys. All right, sorry about that. The way you are going to grow big is to focus on one niche. And when you focus on one niche as part of a strategic net premium, all your products will be created around that niche. Your niche is big enough for you to have a hundred products. I don't care what niche you pick. Even if you pick prayer, you can have hundred products right there. If that's your problem. What you cannot do and call yourself a strategic net premium is to keep creating products everywhere. Look at that one that we show at the top. He has a book on golf. He has a book on budgeting. He has a book on dating. He has a book on wellness. He has a book on allergy and remedy. That person is never going to make money unless he spends years and lots of money. But even then, he's not going to have an identity. You have to focus on one niche area to create your products. It is called the silo approach. The niche silo approach. The niche silo approach. Be writing that down. Do screenshots. This is going to be part of you. It's got to be internalized. Let's look at those who are doing it. Take reshuffling. One of the more most accomplished. How many of us even know Richefren? If you know Richefren, give me an S. Go 
what I want to do is I want to use him to illustrate. I'm going to give you three examples and I'm going to use myself too to explain this block number two that you have to build your businesses around the same niche. If you don't know Richard Frank, give me a zero. I know that you guys are just starting this if you don't know this man. Just know that he's one of the mo most, uh, uh, most successful internet marketers out there. He's bigger than Mike Filsim. If you do, you guys know Mike Filsim. I'm trying to call names that you might know. Uh, or at worst, we say maybe they're on the same level. Um, Anik Singal is bigger than Anik Singal. Anik Singal is really big. Um, he probably will be on the same level with Neil Patel. For those of you who know those names, those are big names in there. These guys, they practice this thing I just told you. The silo approach, which is power of leverage. They maximize the power of leverage by developing most of their products around one niche. Okay, that's where we are. So we are demonstrating it now. It's called the niche silo approach. Let's take Reshuffren. I guess I have to go look for more popular names these days because this guy has been around for years. And I, I had him on, on this for more than five, six years now. So maybe I need to get more current guys so that I want you guys that you guys will resonate with. All right. His niche focus is helping struggling entrepreneurs get clarity and helping those who are doing well to do awesome. That's all he focuses on in digital business. Helping internet marketers get clarity and helping those who are doing well as marketers do even much better. That is all Rick Sheffren is about. Now let's look at the products that he created for that niche. I call it the niche silo products he does. The first product was Internet Marketers Manifesto, which is basically what you need to do to get clarity as an entrepreneur, going back to his number one value proposition. I was in this niche with him for a while. And I also, I copied him. That's why you see me write Netpreneur Manifesto. I own Netpreneur Manifesto. Okay, so he wrote that, which was for his niche. Internet Marketers Manifesto Missing Chapter. That was his second book. <laughs> Just like you saw me write my first book on, on ChatGPT, is 20 different businesses you can start with ChatGPT. Remember, my job is to help you start sustainable businesses online. So that book is in line with my niche focus. Same way with Eric Sheffren. Then his third book, because he saw that the Internet Marketers Manifesto did well, he wrote Internet Marketers Manifesto, the final chapter. Again, you can Google these things. They are still there. You can download them. And it's a great book, by the way. I don't know if they're available for free now. But it's written there more than 10 years ago. Even more than that. They are still valid to today. Internet Marketers Manifesto, you need it. I have one. I call it, a, a, for those of you in Africa, I actually have African... Uh, 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 marketers manifesto. I have the Netpreneur manifesto for the global world. If you don't have it and you want it as a lead, just let me know. Uh, if it's not in your vault, I will tell Mr. Bio to put it there for you. You need it uh, to read uh, about the uh, what you need to succeed online. We already talked about some of them. I wrote that one too, like 10 years ago, right? Or more. Okay. His next book is The Marketing Maven. Again, about how you do awesome as a marketer. His next book after that is The Entrepreneurial Emergency. Again, for those who are struggling, the emergency uh, steps they need to take to become successful. You see how his books are all related to his niche? The next one is Strategic Profits Company. Even his company is named after his niche. That's why I told you guys, by the time you are done selecting niche, you are all going to have companies that is related to your niche. It's not a negotiable thing. If you have already incorporated a niche that is not in your niche, you may not need to incorporate a new one. I'll just tell you, use a business name. It can be a, a department under your main company. But I would really love for somebody to identify himself with the name of his company that is suited to the niche that he's in. So look at Richard Friend. His company is called Strategic Profits Company LLC. That's his company because it's helping people to do strategic clarity on their business then is coaching programs he has a coaching program called the marketing Mervin coaching academy he has the internet marketers academy those are his coaching programs the first five the first four 
were books. Sorry, the first five. Now the company is like business nation community. The strategic profits company actually is actually called the strategic profits club when it was running it. And the name of it of the company is a strategic profits company LLC. But it was strategic profits club when it was running out there. I am actually now that I'm thinking about this again, maybe I even want to take business nation out of a uh, Netpreneur 360, which is my the version of my company, my company rather that does training and empowerment. Maybe I want to create a whole new company out of this nation. I just keep it very clean, very fresh. Look at this man. Now the next thing he created is coaching for those in one and two. And that's when he charges under uh, $1,000, 5000 10000 but all related to his niche focus. His next mastermind, he has a mastermind. You pay $1,000 to join. Mastermind for those in one and two above, which is helping struggling entrepreneurs get clarity. He has a mastermind for that. He calls it the, the Marvin Mastermind. And then he has the Internet Marketers Mastermind for those in one. You can see his niche focus is one and two at the top. Everything that he's creating is around it. Now, more importantly, everything that he promotes must be related to how Internet marketers will get clarity or how they're going to get awesome. He doesn't promote weight loss products in his own affiliate marketing business because everybody will have one. That is your pillar number six, remember? But in his pillar number six, I don't care how good your product is. If it doesn't have to do with an internet marketing newbie or how you can scale your internet business, Richard Friend will never promote it for you. That's what we're talking about. Silo, because you want to have authority in one area. Let's see, follow the man. Okay? That's, that's it for Richard Friend. So you saw his books, his courses, his uh, 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 memberships, they are all around the niche that he has. Just keep going here. We are talking about Mike Phil Sims, um, Silo of Products. He started a new niche in 2013. He created perfect videos with iPhones, the first guy to do that. Then he had uh, 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 Genesis, which is a um, which is a video product to market with video. Then he created Web Jam, it's a video uh, uh, web program still being sold to today. Then the next product he created was called Video Justice Labs, where people come to you how to do, how to create videos. Then after that, he created Traffic Genesis, how to generate traffic with videos. Then after that, he created Math Scientist Marketing Mastermind, which is also another video program about how you come in and how you create video products in the laboratory of your computer. And then he went from there, he created, he only promoted video related products, just like Todd Gross today. There is nothing you tell Mike Phil same if your product is not, ah, you lost audio again. That's not good though. Did you guys lose me again? Did you lose my audio? This is starting to get serious. Okay, is it better now? You are not hearing? Can you hear now? Yes, I can hear you. All right, we'll keep doing it. Uh, let me not get frustrated because sometimes this also happens even in in, uh, in zoom so maybe not as much but we are all learning we will figure it out eventually i'm trying to share my screen again hopefully that will work okay that is the that is the can you guys see the video now can you see this uh, screenshot yes yeah. all right awesome let me start to rush then. Maybe this is tired of me talking. All right. Is my audio still here? Something went off again. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. So he created mostly video related products, right? Still in the silo approach. And then he started facing out non marketing videos, including profitable ones, which is the other, other part, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm facing out 
stuff that are not directly related with building a community of net, uh, fearless netpreneurs who are creating sustainable income online. Anything that is not directly related to that, it doesn't matter how much profit is making me. I'm facing it out so that I can focus. All right? He started a new niche again so that you understand that this is a systemic thing. In 2016, he made a pivot. He started focusing on webinar because when he did his webinar jam, he realized that the webinar jam software is the one that was really, really resonating. He now decided to go into software instead of creating a courses. So he specialized on software. So you can see how I also ended up in software because I followed my coach. So he decided I software I wanted to do, he pivoted from creating courses and video stuff to webinar marketing. How to, because he realized that webinars are very hot then. In 2016, that was the rage. Everybody wanted, just like everybody's doing uh, uh, AI and chat GPT today. Then webinar was the hot thing that marketers were doing. So he decided to focus all his business on webinar marketing. So he revamped the webinar jam. He, he took that old webinar jam that he had and then he turned it into a powerhouse. He relaunched the 2.0 of webinar jam to just be about webinar marketing. He created webinar genesis, the same way he created marketing genesis before. Basically, he narrowed the scope better. It went from just general video marketing to webinar marketing, which is a very small part of video marketing. Can you see a, a, a narrower niche? Then he created weekly guest webinars, where every week he brings in a new guest to come and do a webinar for his community. And then he created Ever Webinar, which is his best selling product to today. Ever webinar is when you have a, a nice webinar that is done well. You then put it on this thing called Ever webinar where it can be running like a live webinar. All you just do is run traffic to it. I'm also going there with some of my own webinars, especially the ones for the inner circle and the one for the elite. Once I get a great one done, I'm just going to cut out some of the uh, 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 over explanations and then I'll make it into a straight up webinar that all I do is run adverse to it. I don't have to be there, but when people come in, they get this feel that they're watching a live webinar. Mike Fusem started it with this thing called Ever Webinar. And then he created Kama Sutra, which is also another webinar, uh, 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 um, 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 uh, monetization and maximization product. As you can see, he created a, in that process, in that time span, since 2016, until he pivoted again about two years ago. Okay, or three years ago, pivoted into softwares only. This is all he did. This is 2016 to 2020. Yes, three years ago to 2020. For another five years, this is the only niche he did. I'm going somewhere here. Let's take another of my coaches. This is the one that I said fired me when I wasn't launching my product on time because I was uh, relying on him as my messiah. And then he got upset one day and he fired me from his coaching class because I was not achieving at the level I need to achieve. He's a great guy. He's still my coach tomorrow. But he set me on the path to my destiny when he fired me from his coaching class. That fate might be for some of you if you are not performing. You will hate me the first one or two years. But then after that, I will be the person you love the most in the world because it will, will set you free. I don't want to go into his story again. But here is his niche. He also focused on internet newbies. From then to today, that's all Omar and Melinda Martin do. And they do about $200,000 every month on a place called JV Zoo. That's all they do. They focus on internet newbies. Look at the niche silo products that they created. His first product was my unfair advantage, which is like a membership site that gives you advantage into getting started online. In that place here, yeah, you can register your domain. He has a place to register your domain. He has a place for you to buy your um uh, your autoresponder all the stuff that you need to get started as an internet newbie is under my unfair advantage it's a great 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 membership site it's like a business type of thing but for those who are just starting in business not anywhere close in terms of breadth that we are trying to do but he created a website for internet newbies so he has training for them it's more like 
the internet, uh, the uh, inner circle, but then has some things where you can buy stuff from him. Then he created rapid profit system, knowing that a lot of internet newbies, they just want to make money quickly. He wasn't teaching them about how to build a proper seven pillar business, right? He was just teaching them how to make money quickly, knowing that most internet newbies, they are opportunity mindset seekers. You don't apologize for an opportunity. Even right now today, 90% of internet marketers, they are opportunity seekers. They're only interested in what will make them money tomorrow. They're not interested in foundation, all this one that I'm talking about. They just want to hear, oh, where can I make the next $20? Where can I make the next $40? And uh, uh, Omar Martin specialized on that. He still specializes on it. So he give, gave them a book called Rapid Profit System, which is how you're going to do affiliate marketing. Then he created Internet Marketing Clinic. That is one where he now wants to be telling them the kind of thing they need to do, which is similar to now the seven pillar thing where you come in. But it is not like a training. It's like a question and answer time. And once a week, he does a, a webinar or a, 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 a yeah, call it a webinar. But it's a, it's a Q and A where you come into that clinic, you ask whatever questions you have, and then he will answer it for you. To get to that, you have to subscribe. I think it was like $49 a month for you to be able to enroll in, in his internet marketing clinic. Then he, he has internet selling for newbies. As you can see, all of it related to his main focus to help internet newbies make some money. Then he created List Bolt. List Bolt is about how you create a list to be able to start doing affiliate marketing. It's a book that is sold for thirty nine dollar ninety nine cents. He launched it on a, on JVZoo, and then he had a funnel behind it, like the video audio version, training pack, all those stuff I'm teaching you. Then he, called, he created content neutrals, basically how to generate content uh, for your affiliate marketing business, how to generate content and make money with generating content. Then the next product is funnel boss, how to create funnel. You can see that he created different products. For what me, I'm making one now. Because that's the way he wants to sell. Now we have this uh, 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 elite circle. But if you are going to be following, you are going to see that everything on this is what we are putting in one product. But he created a set of products for each of them. How to create lists and do affiliate marketing. That's list bold. How to generate content. That is social media marketing. But he had four products around that. And then he has funnel boss, which is how to create funnel what a funnel should look like, and how, which is your pillar number uh, four that we are going to teach you here. And then he has copy-paste commission, which is straight up affiliate marketing. How you just copy emails, and then you send it to your to your people, and then you make money. So list bold and, uh, and copy-paste uh, commission, they are actually pillar number six that I'm going to be teaching you how to do in a much more thorough and practical manner. He just did the book and the trainings, and then he sold it. So it's either it works for you or it doesn't work for you. So there are like four funnel products. Once you bought it, you're on your own. And then he created Affiliate Builder. How to really build your affiliate marketing uh, business in a way uh, that you can make money around the clock. But as you can see, eight products, all of it related to internet newbies. That's what he's still doing to tomorrow. Every product that he creates is for internet newbies. He knows that they are the biggest part of the internet marketing world. Those who are really not ready to grow a proper business, they are looking for the hot opportunity of the moment. And he decided that he was going to service them. Somebody's got to service them. I didn't want to do that. I want people to build real business. That's why my own niche is the elite circle. It doesn't mean his niche is bad. Some of you might decide that that's the niche you want to service because they are the biggest niche. People who are just going to be chasing after penny, uh, shiny pennies. They are the big list online. They have money to pay you. As long as your product is not up to 100 bucks, they will buy every day. $9.99, $29.99, $39.99. You guys know how much you have bought of that now, so don't look like a funny. I bought at least maybe 500 maybe maybe 1000 I don't know. $19, $20, $30. I was buying them every day. It's full of my, 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 my hard drive until a few years ago when I deleted a lot of them. There's a big market. For those who don't want to spend big, everybody will be saying, oh, 3000 is too much to get coaching. 
but they don't have a problem spending nineteen dollar, twenty nine dollar buying products, even okay. though that will not take them to the next level. So there is a, people that service that. That's Omar Martin for you. But then people love him, right? Because he's giving them what they want. But what you need to learn here is that niche focus. A silo of products are focused on one segment, one niche of the digital business world. Internet newbies, those who are just coming online, who want to make money online. That's it. And those are by far the biggest market. And that's why he's doing over $200,000 every month, just catering to them. But all his products are in the same niche. So, as you can see, how can this niche silo approach transform your business? It gives you more expertise. If you are doing writing book, creating courses, doing everything around one small niche, you get more authority. People will know you for that. Just like, for instance, Gary Anderson is about gamifying your community. It's not doing anything else. How you make money as a creator with your community. Now he has a lot of authority there. That's why people like me who are very critical about paying big money to anybody will pay more that money. You get better list leverage because now you have a list that is focused on your niche. More than likely, they will keep buying from you just like you are here. As you build your business and I'm bringing stuff that is in, that is necessary for you to build your business better, I'm going to convert better. You're going to buy more because you need it for your business and I'm staying in the area of helping you establish your business properly. You also get better JV deals. Because now you can negotiate better with uh, JV's affiliates in your niche. They know that's what you do. They know you're going to bring it every day, whether you're in weight loss, whether you're in parenting, whether you're in personal development, whether you're in Forex. If you stay within a silo of products in that area, you will get better JV deals because now they will start coming for you. Knowing that you are an expert in that area, you get more customers. And ultimately, you command more money because now you are an expert. If I do business for two years, I can guarantee you, okay, the the uh, the stuff is paused again. Okay, let me see if, uh, are you guys still hearing me though? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, <laughs> all right, it's come back, okay. All right, so you get more authority, you get more customers, you get better JV deals, you command more money. Because you know your stuff better. For those who may not, that is why a, a Gary Anderson can see the entry point to his uh, uh, to his own. Are you still hearing me? My microphone went off. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. That is why someone like Gary Anderson can see the entry point to his network is one thousand dollars with a clear face because this is all he's been doing for three years, from what I'm told, and it shows when he talks. All he's been doing is helping creators create communities and then gamify that community. And his next level is 5,000. The next level after that is 18,000. He was able to do that because he has domain expertise. That's what they call it. Because all his products are around the same niche. And that is what you want to start doing your business. All right? Mike, Mike feels the same. Perry Marshall, Rich Friend, Alex Jeffries. Omar Martin, Mike Dillard, and then of course, Okpa Bambu, I have to put my name in there. That's what I want to do now. Create products in a silo approach. That's why you see me now, the last few books I've written have been focused on things that people are building businesses online with need. 48 of loss of power in the marketplace, directly related to my niche. Digital business gold mines. Uh, 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 ChatGPT business gold mines directly related to my niche because that is where people pick businesses they want to be in. So when I'm talking niches, they have 20 they can pick from if they don't have one themselves. Are you seeing how this works? So you two want to put your name on there. That from today you want to start, before you create a product, you have to ask yourself, is this directly related to my niche? Is it going to take people in my niche to another level of transformation? Or you're just going to be looking for new people who don't know what the hell you're talking about. Okay. So you have to ask yourself right now, how many niches are you marketing now? What are you known for? If they don't know you for anything yet, you are just about starting. And you want to thank your stars, you join the elite club. Because before this year is out, before your one year is out, 
I'm talking the next 12 months, they will know you for something. Because as long as I associated with me, I'm going to try to get you to focus on one niche. Now, there is no problem. Once you have started making money, maybe after one year, you have consistent income, you have set it up, then you can start another niche. I have no problem about that. I wish there's a way I could do some of the niches I've committed myself to right now. The ones I can run away from, I'm running. The one about Nollywood, I couldn't run because I, it's not too long that I struck deals with them. So I'm going to do, but I'm doing it in the context of trying to grow online people. That's why I put it as a separate, um, uh, as a separate server. I'm going to get a face. I don't want to be the face of it because it's not about building businesses, launching NFTs for stars that people will then trade among themselves and make money. That's not growing business people. So that's not my niche. Though I'm committed to it, I've spent money in there before I realize I need to narrow down. I can't just walk away. So now I'm trying to get Steve, uh, Samuel Olatunji to be the face of that. They wouldn't even know me as being too much behind it. They may see me as a partner, but I want them to see me as business. And when you see me over the next two years, I want it to be as a business guy. I don't want people to see me as a lawyer. That's why you don't hear me talk about law. I don't want them to see me as an activist for Peter Obi. That season is gone. I want them to see me and say, oh, that guy is helping businesses grow online. And that is what we are going to cultivate as you go. All right? So here is a question I want to just ask now, just to break the monotony a bit. How many niches are you involved with right now? Be honest with yourself. Type the number. And then you ask yourself, do you think your business will be better organized if you are to follow this uh, a block? And ask yourself that same question. You don't need to answer this, by the way. This is just a rhetorical question. Okay? All right? Uh, you got to ask yourself, how many niches am I involved with right now? And then start thinking, how can I narrow it down to one? You need one. 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 It's going to be a tough decision, but you have to let go of one for now. You don't have to shut it down and lose all the money you are putting there, but you are not going to put effort into it right now. You are going to focus on one. And then you have to ask yourself, do you think your business will be better organized if you focus on just one niche? Do you think you can be relevant quicker? Those are question, rhetorical question, but please, yeah, I see several of you say two. Trust me, you're going to have to drop one to be able to get your business going. One. Especially if those two are not very close. You got to drop one. Because you can't grow without making that sacrifice. I did. I did. Even business that is making me money, I left it. The only thing you will hear me talk about is business. Shop. And because I'm already, I already have assets that are generating money there. And I can't run away because I signed contracts for nullitainment. That is the Nollywood stuff. That is why I am still going to hear me talk about it. I wish I can just not even talk about it at all. But I won't talk about it in business. Shop. But yeah, that's my second niche. But I don't want it. I wish I could run away from it. So if your second niche is something you can safely downplay for now without having contractual problems and all of that stuff, then downplay it. Right? If you follow that, now we go to block number three. If you get it, get me B3. Give me B3 in the chat that you got that second block, which is silo approach to your product creation. You got to you got to internalize it. Thank you. I see Lee. I see Donald King. Eric is still up. B three. Fumbi is still there. Shara is still there. Funke is still there. Awesome, awesome. We've lost some people in the process here. Where is Bishop? Bishop has not been able to come back. <laughs> Poor Bishop. All right. I see Shara.